Hi, I'm Mark Aglin. Today I'm going to show you how to download a image from my digital website and create a card like this. I'm going to create this card in Word. So I'll show you how to select a template in Word, how to modify it if you want to put your name uh, on the back or anything like that, and um, get the image in there and how to print that out on your printer. And I'll show you a couple of methods of cutting the cards to make sure they're the right same size and putting the crease in them. So let's talk a little bit about paper selection. This is a vellum. I bought this for six cents a sheet at my local print shop. So I just went up there and dig through their paper and liked the look to the vellum, vellum so I uh, picked up ten sheets of that. So it didn't cost me very much money to buy the paper I needed for these cards. The other option is to buy the paper that your printer company um, recommends. Usually if you're printing on HP or Canon they'll, and Epson, they'll all say use their paper. So it's a good idea to do that. If I'm not using this vellum paper, I print these two on the Epson uh, Ultra Premium Mat, one-sided and uh, coated one side. So you print on one side, the inside is not coated so you can write a message. You can still print on the inside, it just is not going to uh, print a real colorful thing, but you could put you know, on the inside of the card, Happy Birthday or Merry Christmas or whatever, and it would print just fine. So anyways, let's uh, go to the computer. All right, well here we are at the computer. Let's um, pull up the browser. Type in Etsy. And go to my shop. Starry Night Art. That's with an N-I-T-E. And finding shops containing that name. So let's search. And we get some images up. That one's mine. The rest are not. And here's um, the two stores that I have on, on, um, <coughs> on Etsy. This store here is one that I have to ship stuff at. Everything in this store I have to ship to you. It's original art, some clay stuff that I, clay art that I do, sculptures, and little fun things, and some wood. And all my paintings and things like that are on here. What we're going to look at tonight is my digital site, Starry Night Art Digital. And everything on here is five dollars. All images are, and I don't ship a thing. It's downloaded right to your holding site on Etsy. Here's some of the other images that I have on this site. I try to add at least a couple a week. Doesn't always work. So, anyways. What we're going to look at today is downloading this particular image. So it's like any other um, website, it's a regular shopping cart, you hit add to cart, you pay for it, and Etsy sends you an email saying it's ready. It's an instant download, it's just like Amazon, where it just um, <coughs> sits in a, in a file manager here on Etsy for you. So uh, once you download it to your computer, then, we, then you can just open up Word, save it someplace where you know where it is, and you open up Word. Um, you can find a template. If you don't know where the templates are, they're right up here at the top. Just click on Cards, Greeting Cards, and you'll be able to find a bunch of templates that you can possibly use or modify. So we're going to open mine. That I um, got out of that uh, template option and I added my logo to it and then saved it again so that that's always there. So let's insert that image that we saved and know exactly where it is. If you uh, do lose the image, you forget where it is on your computer, you can always go to your download option in your browser, your internet browser, 
and um, look for it there and you'll find that file again and there's usually a button that says open in file so you can click that and it'll take you to the file where it's sitting at or the yes the file where it's sitting at so the first thing I do here is change the formatting so that's up on top bring it over here um, Word it gives you this when you open up a picture it allows you to flip or rotate and so we're going to put it right here and we're going to stretch it until it kind of meets this bottom line you can see this template is set up to have a border around it that's what these little extra lines are for but I want what they call a full bleed we're just going to bring it right out to the edge and um, we're going to copy it we're going to paste it down here and again oops that was a dumb thing to do so what we're going to do is um, we're going to reformat that put it up on top there we go seeing it's the same size uh, it's uh, ready to go so there it is the cards ready to go hit file save as and save it like you want but uh, I've already saved it so I'm going to hit print and always make sure you check your printer properties to make sure you're using the paper that you want to use ultra premium presentation paper mat for me is what I'm using even though I'm printing on vellum and eight and a half by eleven borderless if I don't click that it will put a border on there even though the border doesn't show here so click OK and then hit the number of copies that you want to print and that's it as soon as it's done printing I'll um, show you a few options for cutting them down and creasing okay so now that we've printed it out this is what it looks like and there's several ways that you can uh, cut this down the easiest way is to just use a straight edge and mark it along the center line it's faint on there and take and cut it down uh, that's a good way to do it if you're just doing a couple of cards but the way I like to do it is to use a paper cutter that way if I'm doing a lot of them I don't have to worry about um, I don't have to worry about repeatability so we know this is a five and a half inch card we just set this at five and a half inches and we'll fasten it down pull it over and I can make as many five and a half cards as I like this way and it works out pretty nice I have another method of actually uh, pre-cutting the cards and then printing them and I'll show you that in another video but here's my little trick to creasing there's many ways to crease them but we know it's going to be four and a quarter so if we set this roughly here at four and a quarter set my side stop here at four and a quarter hold it down and just lightly crease the edge across the blade so that gives a nice sharp crease and you fold it like that and your card is done so there's your professional looking card and the nice thing is you could have your name and things on the back the nice thing is you can repeat that process over and over again what I'm showing you here is more of a process than a craft so now you can repeat that over and over if you want to make a hundred gift gift cards and sell them they all turn out the same they'll fit in the envelopes every time and uh, that's it for my the end of this video this is Mark Hagland uh, with Starry Night Art on Etsy have a great day